And welcome to Tribe Talk, where we take sermon to message and a great conversation. Today, we've got two wonderful guests with us. We've got Doug and Cherry Dobleck. So excited to have you guys join us here on Tribe Talk. Before we get started, let's jump into this past Sunday's service. We've got a clip to share with you, so please check this out. See, some of you don't realize this, but you've spent your whole life around people that don't want to grow. And you don't even know it. You don't even know you've been around your whole life. Well, they're my family. They don't want to grow. And therefore, they're not going where God has called you to go and chosen you to go. And welcome back. Doug and Cherry, we, ha we were treated this past Sunday to an incredible message. Pastor Keith and Pastor Sheila were both on stage. And what I was so intrigued with is Pastor Keith had a message that Pastor Sheila wrote. They're prepared for this message. And Pastor Keith was flowing in the Spirit. He felt led by the Spirit. So he said, you know what, let's, let's just go with this. And, and I so honor Pastor Keith for just being obedient when the Spirit is talking to him. He really, he flows with that. And so we, we were just treated to a, just such a wonderful message, mm -hmm. um, two, two messages uh, this past Sunday. And one of the things that he brought up that I, I, I am really intrigued with, and, and I really like that he does this, is his, the, the PK challenge, mm -hmm. where he said, hey guys, listen, I want you guys to create your own affirmation mm -hmm. and your own declaration, if you will. And I'm, you know, it, it's, it sounds so like, well, yeah, but he's challenging us to really think differently, to have a, a different kind of mindset mm -hmm. um, so that we do speak these declarations over ourselves. So I want to kind of, you know, talk to you guys and ask you, have you all ever thought of doing declarations? Do you have a declaration? And, and I know we were talking earlier, Doug, you, you came up with, you know, a great kind of approach to it. So I'd love to kind of hear your take on that uh, declaration challenge. Yeah, no, we definitely have. Um, it took a while, mm -hmm. right? But um, Doug has his own, I have my own. I know for maybe a couple of years ago, my declarations were all set on about like the way I think, mm. you know, um, this year it's changed. I revamped my declarations. It's all I am statements and what God says about me. But I love that um, Pastor Keith has done that though. I love that we start our service with a declaration. I love that we um, speak God's words I think that's the best thing about the declarations, right? And how um, Pastor Keith kind of, how we have a template on the declarations that we have during service, um, that we echo God's words about us. I mm -hmm. think that makes it incredibly powerful. Yeah. Right? I think, you know how like successful people, they have their affirmations every day or whatever, yeah. right? But for us, I think I, I love that we can take God's words mm -hmm. and echo it because it makes it so much more powerful. I mean, what better way than to just say okay god you said say say this about me and i'm gonna say it for mm -hmm. myself every day and i and to to start every day with that i think sets the tone for our day right yeah. we align the way we think with what god thinks about us and i think regardless of how our day goes good or bad whatever chaos our day might bring i think it it keeps us aligned with what God says. Mm -hmm. and I yeah. think that's super powerful. So yeah, I think everybody should take that challenge, right? Just yeah. take that challenge, write your declarations, find what scripture says about you and say it every day. And that is so good. And, and there's two things that really kind of stood out to me what you shared is one is you had one and, and you're growing and so you've revamped it. Mm -hmm. And with that, I, I love how you say, you created I am statements, mm -hmm. but you, you have these I am statements based on what God yeah. says about you. And I love how you've tied it into scripture. And I think that is so powerful. Doug, you were sharing a very similar comment earlier when we were talking. How does your declarations kind of unfold? Yeah, so, and this has been something that's unfolded over the last couple of years, but <clears throat> uh, my daily declarations that I have, and they're all based on scripture just like that. And I have 31 just like Proverbs, you know, so I go through Proverbs every day, read my proverb, and then I also have my declaration of my declaration statement, and they all have a scripture attached to my I am statement. 
So that is so good. And and what's you know what stood out to me there, Doug, is you you do this thirty. You have thirty one. So mm -hmm. I'm assuming it follows the month yep. mm -hmm. that you do that. And what's neat about that is when you create these declarations, you start creating habits. Mm -hmm. And as Pastor Key says, you know, habits lead into, uh, you know, ultimately mastery. And I think there, there's that declaration is something that ultimately <clears throat> leads to mastery of us doing things God's way. Yep. And that was one of the other things that Pastor Key talked about. There's a shift in your life when you start doing things God's way. Mm -hmm. And Pastor Keith brought uh, the scripture, 2 Peter 1, 8 through 11. When you grow like this, and it's in, it continues on with the understanding of God, uh, our Lord Jesus Christ, you know, then things get better. If you don't do it, then you become short-sighted and mm -hmm. blind. And so where have you found, or what is it to you that when you start doing things God's way versus your own way, how does that kind of... How's that impact yeah. you? Well, I, I mean, I've got a lot of experience of trying to do things my way. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, it doesn't seem to work out very well. Um, and, and I love what Pastor Josh says. And he says, <clears throat> you know, there's two ways to do things. Um, there's the wrong way and there's God's way. Uh, and, and really, um, <clears throat> when we align our, and, you know, Cherry talked about, you know, aligning our thoughts, with scripture, um, when we align our lives with scripture, when we have uh, a biblical world view, um, <clears throat> then, you know, things work out a whole lot better for us. I mean, uh, you know, the, the, the Bible is our instruction manual for everything that we do. Um, and anytime that you go through things and you need a solution to that, there's an answer in the Bible. Yeah, I think for since we're growing in relationships, right? For us, it's been, um, like even in, in just the last couple of years, right? Let's say I um, had an, a thought about Doug and it's like, oh no, he needs to change. He needs to be this way. If I just did it my way and just tried to change him, that would definitely not work, right? But God's way is I pray for my husband and I surrender my husband to, to the Lord. Yeah. That is way more effective than me just trying to just like, it needs to yeah. be this, right? <laughs> right? So I think I think that definitely um, there's definitely power in that, mm -hmm. right? There is. Um, Doug would always say this: "It's like how many how many how many laps do we have to do this, right? <laughs> yep. And if we just stop and say, okay, God, what would you want us to do? Yeah. Then there's not as many laps. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and then the subsequent laps that you take are better yes. mm -hmm. because you're doing it. God, you're doing it God's way, and. And I and I, I really appreciate the way your approach is. You know, hey, let me let me use the Bible. Let me get into the Word and use that as my instruction manual because mm -hmm. that is our template. As you know, Pastor Key talks about success is all mm -hmm. in templates, and yeah. you're using the Bible. And and Cherry, how you talk about, you know, I can't force him to change, but what I can change is myself, and I can pray for mm -hmm. Doug or I can pray for this other person to to be better, and then in that that course that shift happens yeah. where you become better for other people around you and then they start seeing you as the example um you know and cherry and i'm just pick on you doug i'm a husband as well so i, I get it so you know cherry is cherry's praying for you and she's mm -hmm. growing and reading the scripture and then you're like wow cherry's leading the way she's she's doing so great that encourages you or inspires you to grow as a husband, as a spouse, to you know, to be a part of that, that relationship, that partnership that you guys are with, and you're doing it God's way. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. That's funny how you say that because um, there was a time it felt like, like I was spiritually like ahead, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then that shifted, and people would ask, "How are you guys doing?" I'm like, "He's doing great." I'm <laughs> like struggling right now, yeah. but I love the, that there is partnership. That, yeah. right that when um when he's leading then i can definitely follow there yeah and that is encouraging to see that um and it works hand in hand and i think that just kind of ties into the whole series of this is how we grow right how we grow in relationship mm -hmm. yeah but we do have to do it god's way yeah and, and that is so good and, and i just you know again falling back on that second peter 1 8 through 11 when you do when you grow like this mm -hmm. and there's just 
when you grow like that in the knowledge and the understanding of the Lord our Jesus Christ, then like you said, Doug and Trey, the Bible's your template to yeah. do those things His way, then it works. It gets mm -hmm. better. And, you know, we all go through our seasons and we have a lot of trauma from, mm -hmm. you know, our experiences. Maybe mom and dad wasn't what they were supposed to be or we experienced some different types of trauma. But when we grow through it, then, you know, we can learn from it and we make our choices through it. Yeah. And we learn from it. And I think that was a really neat thing that Pastor Keith and Pastor Sheila mm -hmm. talked about was learning from the things yep. yeah. that you go through. One of, one, one of the things that Pastor Keith has said in the past is when you grow through what you go, grow through, you're going to have a breakthrough. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, and <clears throat> yeah, so, and, and that growth, the growth mindset, right? Um, and it's, it, it's, 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 it's not easy, right? A growth mindset's not easy, but it's choosing your heart mm. in so many, in so many cases, right? So you can choose not to have a, you know, the, the fixed mindset mindset versus a growth mindset, right? It's, it's going to be hard, hard either way um, that you choose, but which one do you choose? Yeah. Yeah. And Pastor Keith also said um, on Sunday that the things that hurt us are the things that will help us grow or something like that. Yes. I totally paraphrased that, but he said it better. Because um, <laughs> when he said it, he says it, it rhymes. But yeah, I, think, <laughs> I think that's super, super powerful. Right, because we can either choose to just get stuck in the hurt and the trauma, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right, or we can choose to say, okay, how can I, what, how can I grow from this? Yeah. Right? I love how Pastor Keith also says about how when he he wasn't um, loved well or something mm -hmm. like that in his family, right? But for him, it's or how he says like our family, we don't shouldn't expect our family to love us a certain way, but yeah. we can learn how to mm -hmm. love others yeah. better, or how to have great relationships, mm -hmm. right? Um, and it really is our choice, yeah. right? And how we're gonna take our experiences and how we're gonna be yeah. better because of that. So. That is yeah. so true. Doug and Cherry, you guys, I could talk to you guys for hours about this. I mean, Pastor Keith, Pastor Sheila's message, this is gonna be a great series, so I can't wait to see what the rest of the, the messages are, the sermons. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for being part of Tribe Talk. Make sure you connect with somebody, maybe your neighbor, a family member, some friends, and have discussions about this past Sunday service and really unpack what it means for you. Doug and Cherry, you guys shared such great insight and I wanna thank you guys so, so much. Make sure you follow us on other social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And we will see you on the next episode of Tribe Talk. God bless.